If you're looking for cheap Ultimate Team coins, go check out IGSky.com. Links to that will be in the description below. Use the discount code ROSSI for a little bit 5% off. It's got a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more can you ask for? Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here in this episode number 6 of my Football Manager Let's Play with Leeds United. If you missed the last episode, you would have missed a half-decent performance from us. We beat Reading, Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham, lost to Norwich and then beat Wolves, luckily. And um, that's a good little run, actually. The Norwich game was a quite... Uh, well, actually, they dominated the game and won it quite easily, but only 1-0, which wasn't too demoralising for the team's performance and, um, like, morale overall. But we're going to go into a game against Manchester United. It's a little while away. It's at the 29th, so I'll skip to there, and uh, when we get there, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, away to Manchester United in the fourth round of the Capital One Cup. Now... I'm not going to lie, I expect to get heavily beat here, but it'd be nice to put in a half-decent performance. It looks like we've got Warnock out again, which means Barani can go back in a left-back for this game. Apart from that, the team is in good form. The morale's okay, you know, some good ones in there. Obviously, we've got some bad ones down here, people out of the team, but that's fair enough. That's actually good to see when they're not in the team, obviously. Um, but we're, we're good, I think. We think we're good to go. We've got Grealish in there at the right wing instead of Antonucci for this game. And Adrian in the middle, sharp up top. I think we're ready to go. And um, if we can somehow manage to win this game, it would be absolutely incredible. But on, like I said, I would I'll take anything. I'll take a, a, I'll take a draw. I'll take a small loss. Anything like that would be pretty sweet. Hopefully my PC's all right today. It's been a bit iffy recently. And... Um, Probably shouldn't have said all the top ones on there because that was all confident stuff. And I'm not exactly confident going into this game. It's a difficult game. It's not beat around the bush. I should lose this game. But hopefully, I think they're playing a weakened team. But still, if we can get any kind of performance, that would be pretty sweet. They're in the box here, though. And it looks like we've given away a penalty already, which is not good, Berardi, you absolute ball ache. And um, they're getting a free chance here after six minutes. Falcao taking the penalty. And, of course, he's going to score. Jesus Christ. Falcao has scored to make it 1-0 to Manchester United in literally like the sixth minute. So that's a very bad start from us. And um, is that the way it's going to continue? We'll have to wait and see. But we've got the ball in the middle here. Adrian out to Barikta. It goes. And we lose the ball. Of course, we're doing Young now. Running at pace at my defence. Gets in burned easily. And looks like Wilson's up top. But Falcao just misses the chance there. Silvestri smothers it and gets the save. And then from the corner, the resulting... Thing also ended in the same way. We're on the attack here with Murphy into Sharp to Grealish. Can he do anything? No, he gets literally smashed by loads of people there. And Wilson in behind here. Poor defending and oh, nearly another goal there. But they're looking like they're threatening. We're having okay at bits of the ball in spells though. We've got a chance here by looks of everybody to whip the ball in. We have to score. We've actually equalised. And it's Billy Sharp getting a name on the score sheet yet again. What an absolute hero he's turning out to be. But still behind in this game on the shots. So it's looking like a tough game. But we've got an equaliser and that's absolutely fantastic news. We've scored against the Scar. And hopefully we can go on and get someone out of this game. That's a good half, technically. Looking back at that, not a bad half at all from my team. And that man, Billy Sharp, again, get on the score sheet. Even if he can keep in the goals, he's going to be a real threat in most games this season. And that's a good thing to have. Antonucci is uh, on the bench at the moment where, you know, other series I've done with Leeds, he's been this key man and Billy Sharp's not performed. But this one, it looks like Billy Sharp is our key man going into the season, um, season games anyway. But we've got a couple of people we may have to switch out here. Um, what's going to happen here? We're actually going to bring on Soli Ducara on the left wing for Barikta. See if we can add a little bit of strength out there. And... Um, um, see if that can change our luck a little bit. But we're doing all right. Looks like they've got an attack here. They're probably going to nick a goal here. No, my luck. Falcao's got the ball. Raphael whips it in. And a good catch from Silvestri. Looks like he made a couple of changes. Like Wayne Rooney is uh, actually on the pitch now, which is uh, another friend. It's over. Ducaro does him here. And Adrian and Billy Sharp had a chance. Anyway, we should have scored. That was a big chance for Billy Sharp. Ball comes back in. And Johnston in goal. Or Johnstone, or whatever that says. Uh, gets the ball there. But uh, we're actually getting some chances here. I know they're playing a weakened team, like I've said. But... That's their own fault. But they're going in behind here by the looks of it. Matters on the ball. And a good ball in there. But Belushi should seal this away. But it's not a good kick. And it's gone straight back to Manchester United. And they're coming in with Rooney. Good tackle. But Falcao scores. 84th minute. What an absolute ball ache that is. But Falcao is dangerous in the box. And we let him with a chance there. And he slid it home quite nicely. And I think that's the way that's going to end, isn't it? So we've only... We've only just lost 2-1 away to Manchester United. I don't think we can take a lot of disheart from that. I think we've done pretty well to even, you know, come close to beating them. We, we did okay. I'm happy with that. That's a good performance. If you're going to lose, just don't lose like 5 or 6 nil. Lose 2-1. That's a good result in some senses. We're out of the cup. That's obviously a bad thing. But I'm still quite happy with how we performed. And, um... We can concentrate on the season now. And I've got a big game against Cardiff. So let's get to this game and hopefully we can win it. 
Okay, so we're at the game against Cardiff now, and um, just one change to make, and Stephen Warnock is going to get himself back in the team. Berardi gave away a penalty, and I didn't have a great performance. But Billy Sharp is 75% fitness, so unfortunately, we're going to put Antonucci up front for this game. I say unfortunately because Billy Sharp's on good form, but I don't want to risk him and get him injured. He needs to be key for us this season. I'm going to give him a little bit of a rest, and hopefully that won't be such a bad idea, and we can get something out of the game against Cardiff. But another tough game coming on the back of uh, you know the Manchester United game and Norwich game. Pretty tough little run we've had. And Wolves, of course, are in there as well. If we can pick up anything from this game, I'll take a draw. A win would be absolutely brilliant. But way to Cardiff. Bit of a bogey team for me. And uh, we'll see how this one pans out. But they've got attack early doors here straight from the kickoff. And we managed to get that clear just about. But they've still got the ball. And this attack seems to be going on. Or this highlight even seems to be going off a little bit along. But it didn't come to anything, luckily for us. We get the ball away. Antonucci trying to run in behind. And Grealish with his pace down the wing. Good ball. And Antonucci, I think, is offside that time. It is offside. Split second four. I knew that was offside. It was it's quite clear that that was offside. But we've, we're, we're getting in behind. That's, that's a decent thing there. And um, we actually scored an offside goal. So something to, uh, you know, up our confidence, I suppose you could say. But that half literally went so quickly that nothing really happened. We got the offside goal and that was pretty much it. Um, to sum up that half, we'll go into the second half and hopefully things can improve slightly for us. Or... Um, yeah, we'll take anything, to be honest. We just don't want to concede. We don't want to give away cheap goals. That's what we've been doing a lot recently. And uh, they're going to get in behind here. Down the wing it goes. In the mox it goes. Oh, what a double save. I think a lot of it was off the bar, actually. But we get it clear, and that is the main thing. It was a devastating attack, and it could have easily led to a goal. But luckily for us, we've somehow managed to get clear of that without any trouble. Uh, we're going to bring off Luke Murphy. We're going to bring on Tomasco Bianchi for a little bit. Hold up that midfield a little bit more. And we're actually going to bring, off sl bring on Sloth. For Adrian, doesn't seem to be his game so far. Maybe we're a little bit of change there. Might do us good, I suppose you could say. Or it might backfire immensely. But we'll have, a, have to wait and see how it goes down. We've got a cross coming in here. Sloth causing some damage. They're gonna get, it looks like they're going to get away with the ball. They've got a lot of space over here with Noon. And Noon is going to whip one in. Lafondra probably should have scored them. But it's a, obviously a good save from Silvestri to keep him at bay. And uh, their corner comes to nothing as well. So, interesting. they got another corner here. And this time... No, it still doesn't end up in the back of the net. For the time being, anyway. Jesus Christ. We're getting a bit lucky by the looks of things here. On the counter-attack now. And Antonucci picks it up. Sloth in the Barrichter. And it probably should have been a better chance than that. But we've got it clear. And it is now a corner. The corner comes in. We keep it alive. But no dice. No dice. Nice. It stays at nil nil for the time being. Is there going to be one last attack for either of the teams? It's going to be them. It's a corner disease. Off the post from Lafondra. Holy shit, it's a big chance. Big chance for them. It's still alive, though. They've got the ball, which is unfortunate for us. A bit of lag has hit us. Their goalkeeper's come a long way. We've got it back. And Byram's picking up the pieces. But they're going to get a ball in here, are they? No, he's got the ball. What's going to happen here? Noon's picked it up. They're going to get across in, are they? No, not quite. It's all kind of, it's all gone tits up. But I think that might be the final highlight. It's a nil-nil against Cardiff, which some people may consider a good result. So I'm not, I'm not too bothered about that. It's a decent kind of return. Where are Cardiff in the league currently? They are actually, uh, I can't see them. Where are they? Cardiff, hello? Oh, they're down there. So probably should have picked up better points from that, really. Uh, but not a bad result, considering we didn't concede. So if you don't concede, if you don't score, don't concede. So uh, obviously saying went wrong there when I said it, but you know what I mean. But we're going to get to the Charlton game, and that's a game where we really need to start winning. So let's see how that goes down. Okay, so we are at the Charlton game. We are home at Ch to Charlton, I should say. And uh, we're looking to win this game, to be honest. It's a game we're home, and we're home form has been pretty decent. We're going to put Billy Sharp back in the team who's left out because of low fitness, but he's got his fitness back and uh, we're hopeful that he can get the goal so we need it because obviously a nil nil in the last game we're doing all right the 12th position 555 and no goal difference kind of like literally mid table in every sense and um they're playing a very negative formation with two defensive mids as well as obviously the four at the back and uh, we're playing quite an attacking formation well, it's actually not really. We've got that CDM in there, but we've got the we've got the wingers and the and, and the striker, which is quite attacking in its own right. But uh, we're doing okay recently, but that could all go to shit with a horrible defeat. So I see how this game pans out, and I'm um, hopeful that we can win it. But Billy Charles with the ball and Brichter. big chance already. Doors we wasted, and uh, Cornish disease. Come on, let's have some Cornish disease. Nope. Grealish on the ball now. Can we get the ball in there? No. Billy Sharp, not a great area we want him to be, really. But he finds a way in the box. Unlucky not to get a better shot away there. Didn't really get a shot at all. Um, but they're coming at us now. They've got attack here. We need to get this ball clear. The ball comes in. We do manage to get a half clear, but not fully clear. Never really seemed to get it fully clear. In the midfield always seems to be a... I've got a bit of lag here as well. There's bloody stupid game in my PC didn't get on very well but Billy Sharp finishes a beautiful goal what a player he's turning out to be up to ninth position so far but it is early on in the game so I shouldn't be talking too much we are home a home form like I said has been better than better than oh dear they've got a chance and they've scored I really should be talking should I and it is Andre BK 
And he's got himself the equaliser from the corner, which is, is expected. He's big. And he's in there. Really sharp turns. And Murphy, we've got ourselves back in the lead. Luke Murphy has been a decent player since returning to the team. And um, him and Adrian in that middle doing very well. Very well? Very well. Very well indeed. And Billy Sharp obviously getting most of our goals. So we're back with our goalkeeper. Not an ideal place to be, especially when he kicks a ball there. But we've won the ball back. And Barikta whips a ball in. Adrian on the edge of the box finds Grelish. And a big chance wasted there again. We're getting lots of chances here. We really need to be taking more because it could always backfire on us in eventually. And um, but we're having a a lot of the ball. Solly gets it away here though. But Lushi wins it back. Billy Sharp on the turn. And finds Gross. I think he might have just been offside there. He was just offside. That's back to back. Um, offside goals. I think we had one in the last game, unless I'm mistaken. I can't quite remember fully. But we find Adrian and Grealish picks up the ball again now. And he finds Barichter. And again, a big chance. And Pope saves. But we're getting a lot of the ball and a lot of chances going our way here. And of course, we have taken two of them and we are winning this game so far. So Barichter has picked up a slight injury. We'll let him ride it a little bit. We have got Dukara on the bench if needs be. Won the ball back in the midfield pretty early on here. And Sharp gets tackled by big Andre BK. And that ball will go out for a throw. And the highlight ends there. But hopefully we can get some more highlights. We can score some more goals. Because this is pretty good so far from us. And we're going to make a change here. I think Barik does have enough time on the pitch. I think I'm, I'm saying it. I, I, I apologise about how I'm saying people's names. Because obviously I'm getting some of them wrong. They've got a corner here. And corners is where they're probably at their strong point against us. Big punt forward. I don't think that ended up in the back of the net. But it looks like he was offside as well. So I don't know if that's a disallowed goal or whatever. But it didn't count regardless. And uh, we're still 2-1 up in this game. Time is running out. 86 minutes on the clock. Can it just run away from me? Would be pretty nice. I think we might have done this. Yes, we have. And that's a good win at home to Charlton. And that'll push us up the league a little bit, I'm hoping. Into 10th position. Very, very nice indeed. Our climb at the moment has been very impressive. We're picking up wins. And that is all you need, really. Let's get to the Blackpool game. Let's do this. Okay, so here we are at the Blackpool game. And how are they doing in this game? They are actually 23rd. So really a game we should be winning. And if we do, it pushes us up a little bit more. And uh, just keeps the momentum going. So, oh, Rudy on international break. That's a bit of a joke, isn't it? Bastards interrupting my form at the moment. But Liam Cooper... Uh, not Liam Cooper, sorry, Bianchi will go into that CDM role and put Wooten on the bench because he can play that CDM role if we're desperate for it, but I doubt we'll need him. Uh, good form. Look at Billy Sharp's goal scoring record. Really impressed by him. I've got to take a closer look at how he's getting on. History. He's got nine goals in 14 games. Unbelievable return from... Um some good stats, 15, oh sorry, 14 at finishing, look at the pace there, 13, not bad, 11 strength as well, it's pretty decent considering, and uh, we're going to go into this game though, fingers crossed we can keep up our momentum and win the bloody game, again, same formation as the last team we played, so we're, we are known to this formation, and um, let's see if that's a good thing or not, so here we go, Blackpool, bring on your worst, and we've got the ball early doors, so will we get a first minute goal, it'll be pretty sweet, Bridget's going all the way here, but he gets tackled easy, and that is poor from us, and we just give away the ball, so uh, we'll take it back here, with Murphy to Adrian, good little bit of play, Gorillish finds Adrian, lovely bit of play, and Barikta finds his way into the net, and a goal, unbelievably how our form has changed, in the fact that we started the season quite poorly, but ever since we started winning games, we are, it just looks like we're scoring, it looks like we're going to score every attack we make, And uh, but it also still looks like we're going to concede every time, so we do get the ball back here, though, Adrian Adrian and Murphy midfield combination of dreams. And Barikta gets his second of the game. Beautiful assist from Billy Sharp. He's looking like a decent signing. After not starting the best Barikta. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I do apologise. But um, it took him a while to get going. Miller's going to get behind this. Actually, he does well there. But it took him a while to get going, like I was saying. But he's, he looks like he's decent. There's a lot of attacks we have. He may not be getting all the assists in the world or all the goals. But he threatens. He gets involved. And he, he just looks like scoring. Maybe not scoring all the time. Like I'm saying, he just looks quite involved in the team and I'm pretty happy with how this game's going they're not even looking like scoring from the stats here and Bianchi gets the brick and that's a hat trick and he gets himself a hat trick in 39 minutes decent performance indeed from the left winger of dreams there beautiful first half hat trick and then Pierce really should have scored then make it 4-0 but apparently he wasn't fancy in that one but um that's the first half done and we are absolutely dominating in every sense of the word. We are all over Blackpool. And if we can keep that up second half, this might be our best performance of the season at home. And um, yeah, look at that. They've had one shot. They've had 16. Five on target, three of which hit in the back of the net. And their big striker has just got injured. Ishmael Miller has had to go off. We're going to make some changes here. Liam Lewis Cook even is going to get a little bit more game time for Luke Murphy. We're also going to take off Gorelish. We don't want to waste him. If he's not having a good game, there's no point trying him then. We're going to bring on Mikko Antonucci. See if he can get some goals or see if he can get a good performance in and, um, you know, maybe push to start him because Grealish is having a 
a little bit of a rough patch, if that's the right word, where he's not getting as many goals and assists as he was previous. But everyone else is doing it for him, so not a big deal. And this second half looks like it's going to just end on a, nothing really happening. And maybe we can get one more goal here if we're lucky. Warnock's just taking time over the ball though. Adrian finds Cook and a good ball to Antonucci. Gets his shot blocked originally and then the ball gets cleared. But it looks like that game's going to finish there. We've got might have a little chance for one more. About 30 seconds left of this game just now. And uh, we're going to have another attack or is that going to be the end highlight? Lovely bit of play. And Antonucci has got his goal. And that is 4-0 in the 90th minute. What a performance. 4-0. Blackpool are struggling and we have took them to... Wow, we've just smashed them. We've absolutely smashed them. Brilliant hat trick from I still don't know why the goals come in front of the assist. That's really strange. And I'll bloody I'll put it in front of condition now. Uh three goals for Brick. two assists for Billy Sharps. He didn't get any goals today, but what he did do is get some assists and help the team. We're up into eighth, guys. This is absolutely amazing. And Blackpool looked like a couple of injuries in that game. But it looks like our next game is a little far away, so I'm not too sure where it is. Might be next week to be honest, but I'm gonna skip to then and we'll go into that game. So let's do this. Okay, so we are back at the Blackburn game. We are, of course, away from home, which um, it's all right, but we're, we're, our home form has been really good. They're just below us as well, so it's a game we can win. No reason why we can't. Jason Pierce picking up injury is a big, big blow. Dario Del Fabro, Del Fabro, I think it's bloody named correctly, will start this game, which is a big ass because that will be his first start. We're going to put Liam Cooper on the bench as a little bit of a reassurance. But I feel as if he's probably better. So have a look at some of the stats they've got. 12, 14, 13. He looks all right, to be fair, for a 19-year-old. Cooper, on the other hand, in real life, I would definitely go for him. But on this game, he's just a little bit worse, in my opinion. This is unfortunate for him. But Del Fabro, indeed, is going to be the player we play. Is Austin back yet, or is he still out? He's actually back. So, oh, Tielmans is back, or coming back. His fitness is still a little bit low. That's good to see. Austin's fitness is okay after his international break. We will put him straight back into the team, though, because he's a key man for us. Tielmans, we're going to whack on the bench. We're going to put him on there instead of... Oh, my God. We've got a very nice bench at the moment. It's difficult to pick who we take off. I can take off Casper Sloth for the minute, and I feel bad. I feel bad for Casper because he's in the team at the start of the season, but who cares? Here we go. A game against Blackburn away from home. A little bit of uh, good good uh, run of form at the moment, so hopefully we can carry that on and just pick up some goals, not concede. Happy days. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. Come on. Let's get a good start. Looks like they're going to have an attack here, and... Oh my god, nearly scored a goal, and they, unfortunately, that they were the people who fouled in the box. For a second, we may have given away a penalty, but it looks like we started this game quite slowly. They seem to be having a lot of fun, a lot of joy even, throwing the ball in, and Spurs running at me there. Poor defensively duties, but they're all over me, to be fair. Eight shots they've had, we've only had three, but like I said, away from home is always ten times more difficult. From a corner, Jordan the Rhodes picks up the bloody goal. What a bastard Jordan Rhodes is. Scored two at Leeds in real life. The absolute douchebag. And um, not an ideal first half from us after the form we've been having. We've not even scored. And uh, scoring's not been a problem for us. It's conceding. But Grealish on the ball now. We need to get an equaliser. Would be pretty sweet if we can get one right now. Murphy gets tackled and nobody's really there to uh, pick up the ball apart from a Blackburn player. And they get that one clear. But it looks like we might have to change something in this game. We're not having a lot of joy in front of goal. So possibly Grealish is going to come out. Antonucci's going to come on. We're going to bring in Bianchi, Bianchi for Austin. Because Bianchi's been having some good performances. So we'll give him a go. And uh, maybe we can pick up a point at least from this game. So it pans out. There's a highlight coming up here. Looks like it might be them, though, in the midfield. They're passing around quite well. We do win the ball back momentarily, but it gets back to Rhodes. And Rhodes, ooh, big chance. As Ovestri does keep managing to just keep that one out. But again, from a throw-in, they are almost going to pick up another goal. Throw-in's a really big threat against us just now. And from a corner there, they do head over. But they are all over us just now. We are struggling to get any kind of momentum in this game. We're only one shot on target from eight shots overall. It's not an amazing return. And um, I probably think we're going to end up losing this game. It looks like this might be the final highlight. But it looks like it's going to be one of them which just finishes the game. We have lost that game 1-0. Disappointing. But not the end of the world. You know, we're not going to lose game. We're not going to go flawless all season after, you know, some of the performances we've had. I'm happy with 12 at the minute. We'll go into the next game. Again, that one will be against Derby. I'll skip to there. And then we'll finish the episode after that one and see where we are. So let's go to the Derby game. Okay, so we are back at the game against Derby. And uh, it's a big game. They're doing all right in the league. I think they're up at six. Yes, they are. So uh, we want to see if we can win this game. But Rudy Austin again has picked up another injury. So he's going to come out for Bianchi. And then we're going to put on the bench Casper Sloth again. Pierce is back. So we'll put him straight back into the team. We didn't really want to take him out originally. He was injured. But we will change that up. Apart from that, the team is good to go. Billy Sharp with 
trusting you to pick up the goals here because it doesn't look like it's come from a lot of other places to be honest a couple of goals here and there they're playing a flat five across the midfield might cause us problems because we're only playing kind of two center mid you could say the rest the other two are wingers and then obviously the striker um but derby are a difficult team I would take anything from here. And Murphy again. That's his second worldie of this series. Can't remember what his first goal was like, but damn. That is a beautiful finish from Luke Murphy in the middle of the park. Shoot on sight, buddy. Billy Shot fights great. We're tuning up in this game. Within a flash, we've turned on the bloody afterburners and we're tuning them up after they're dominating the shots can we get another one here bianchi picks it up in the midfield grace is going to get the ball in uh, it's been uh petered away actually it's a penalty actually it is a penalty unbelievable and billy sharp could has the potential to put us three nil up in this game and does three nil to us against derby who i thought was going to be a difficult game probably shouldn't have said that to be honest because they still have to go yeah and they could quite easily come back into this game but Billy Sharp, two assists and one goal. I had some reason it keeps putting it the wrong way around. I really don't know why that is. It's so irritating, but we'll get over it. And um, second half starts, and can we start as we mean to go on? Because we are absolutely dominating this game on goals. Shots-wise, they have had 10, and I can't believe that we're winning 3-0 in this game. Clinical finishing has been absolute key for us this season, and that is a reason why we're doing so well. We're going to bring on Soli Dukara, and we're also going to bring on... Actually, he's doing okay. We're going to bring on Tielmans for a return, and um, Adrian is going to get dropped to the bench for the remainder of this game because Luke Murphy has got a worldy in him somewhere absolute clinical finish from him and it's, it's set us on our way for this game and we get a corner here and we make it four and it's an own goal from four scythe but we don't really care right now they're going to get one back by looks of it. yes yes they are and it's chris mine only his third goal of the season i'm a great return on him but get the fuck in we've managed to win this game if it uh, like to finish this attack there it is 4-1 winners at home to derby very very impressive stuff that moves us up to ninth and that is where we are going to finish this episode. Going into the month of December. So we're already getting through the season quite rapidly. January transfer window is just around the corner. I don't know if we do a lot of business there. We don't have the, you know, the epic amount of money. We can get some loans in or we could sell a couple of players and move some on. We'll have to wait and see if I'm still manager by then. But I'm thinking I'm doing okay. I think the staff or the management or the, the owners, as it were, will be pretty happy with how we're doing. We're losing games across. But ultimately, there's a lot of wins in there and a lot of high scoring games. 4-0 and 4-1. In amongst a game which we unfortunately lost one there. What kind of games have we got coming up? It's which Fulham, not in the forest. Three very tough games. Wigan as well aren't an easy trip. And then Derby, of course. Um, I should probably. Is it, are Derby two games close together? It's actually Leeds' is fixtures in real life, I think. It is, isn't it? Because they had Derby, Ipswich, Fulham. Not in the forest. Yeah, I think this is. I think it is actually Leeds fixtures in real life. So they have got Derby back to like quite close games. Beat them two 0 in real life. And we've got them there. An unknown game in the cup there, and then we've got a pretty standard end of the season kind of flow. But if we can get there, that'll be absolutely amazing. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have a like, you're absolutely amazing. We need 300 likes. That'll be beautiful. Hope you had a good day. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you next time. And uh, bye bye. Boom. Popping Danny Sturridge while we are Randy and <laughs> I don't know why I said that but okay Danny Sturridge is of course a Liverpool player and I think I've got one in my club let's just double check have I I do indeed the Marco Royce is definitely somewhere in my club we've also got the preset ones what else are we going to get in these packs here I'm just going to skip this one oh yes fucking get in lads we got ourselves Mario Goretzka and the Lord himself we got the Lord Bender